Hey guys, what's going on? Third Street Reactions here. We're back. I'm Shane. Zach. And we're back here with Rick and Morty. The finale. Yeah, the last one was pretty good. Definitely left us an interesting spot where Rick is leaving to be enlightened with the crows. Yeah. Which we didn't touch too much on the crows the last time. I wasn't completely surprised that they turned, but it was still a sweet payoff. The fact that they turned against the crow overlords and stay loyal to Rick. It was. Yeah. And but Rick and Morty, they are supposedly taking a break. But this is it until the show comes back. So it's a hell of a thing. But uh, yeah. I can do with some uh, Corvids. Yeah. Yeah. For now. So mm -hmm. whatever. At least Bojack will be on time more. It's the crow man. Ah! <laughs> Give it a second. Maybe he's taking it out to surrender. <laughs> Good luck. Cool, Morty. Uh, hey, hey, man. Good to see you. You're like looking like into crows. Still. Oh. Take care, Morty. You, t you too. Uh, I'm doing good, by the way. Oh, my God. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> the anime. Yeah. Take ass biddies. He looks like a uh, vampire hunter D. He does. Lucifer. <laughs> Lucifer. Rick. Morty. What? Uh, Morty, why are you now like 40? Th that's how long it's been, Rick. Summer's a nurse. Well, pretty much a nurse. She, she married a junkie. Rick, come home. Well, we still got a little time. And second, f you for trying to undermine my happiness. This may be the last time you ever lay eyes on me. I hope that's not true, Morty. Because you look like sh <coughs> shit, and this is not how I want to remember you. I'm very intrigued. <laughs> Oh, I, I know what this must look like, but... It looks like my arch nemesis, Crow Scare, and my sidekicks planning adventures together. We immensely enjoy each other's bodies. What? Oh no. Sounds like the man's asking for proof. Let's show him, fellas. I asked for zero. <laughs> Rick? wubba lubba dub dub I'm back, pal. Morty, who's at the door? wubba lubba dub dub We haven't heard that in a while. Can you please make Morty 14 again, Dad? This is ridiculous. <laughs> okay, look, I, I may have used an aging serum to kind of emotionally blackmail you a little. Kind of figured, and I totally get it, Morty. You have his respect, and you want to be treated differently from now on. I refuse to do that. I I'm desperate to get back together. Just like his old man. Don't worry, honey. That's just Morty's middle <laughs> age. <laughs> He's fucking There's a Morty president now. Oh, that's cute. They rebuilt. They made it nicer. They made it Glendale. God damn, you are cantankerous. Even pooping hurts now. Yeah, well, this place is going to fix you right up. Uh, brace yourself. The process does also break every bone in your body. Wait! Ah! Oh, ow! I like crayons. Girls are gross. What? I ain't paying to store 26 years. Well, then you're taking it with you. I'm almost ready to sell out. All right, what's disposal cost? <gasps> Let me help you. This is not a good look. Oh, boy. Hey, they, they shot me. You are seriously hurting the Citadel experience. Listen to me. Drop the gun. Death is coming for us all. President Morty requests you join him for dinner. Whoa, se seriously? You know I destroyed this place. You've been pardoned for that, sir. Rick, let's have dinner with the Morty president. But wow, Rick C-137. Now that's a guy to move your schedule around for. Not not here to blow the place up again, I hope. <laughs> <laughs> not unless you try to keep me here. Oh, jeez, wouldn't dream of it. All politicians are nice. He's a hot bag of peanuts, isn't he? Never had hot peanuts. It's kind of weird to think about. Right, no My boss offered me at work, and I wasn't about to have his hot nuts. Sorry. You can't scan an entire brain over appetizers. Oh, most of yours got scanned a long time ago. You probably don't remember. Check out season one, episode nine, Rick has excelled. Stan Lee. Yeah. Rick. I'd hate you more than the Ricks you worship if there was any point, but you can't help it. You were bred for it. Want to see? There aren't infinite versions of our grandfather, Morty. He's an infinite smear of one shitty old man. And he's attached to us infinitely through his weakness. What the f***? Rick, say this isn't true. It isn't the whole truth. Liar. Liar. It's complicated. I'm not busy. Okay, Morty, remember when I said all I need was your apology and a screwdriver? Oh! oh. Holy s***! 
I only know one man that ever hacked my portal gun, and it turned out it was evil you. Yay, he's all caught up. Oh, he's the evil one. <laughs> wow, he's just sitting there fucking... Tonight, the quality of dialogue stops mattering. Tonight, I do that thing I want to do with the curve thing. Damn. I think it's important for me to say, eat shit, fuck you. The drug company's paid for me to say every word. I have millions of dollars, and I don't care if you live... Oh, God, oh, don't go! Oh, oh. And I'd just like to say that prescription drugs are great, and I should buy them now. <laughs> <laughs> so did you help build the citadel? Did you just lie to me about everything? Can't we just sneak through the cave base? We turned a new leaf, Morty. We're back to simple adventures. It's not a new leaf until you tell me everything. Here's my fucking downloaded brain, Morty. You want to jump the shark? You want to know my stupid crybaby backstory? Knock yourself out. Not, not now. So did that really happen? So is his daughter, his real daughter died? All of our lives in one infinite crib built around an infinite fucking baby. And I'm leaving it. That's what makes me evil. Being sick of him. Blender. You can come if you want. Don't blame me if you don't. Uh, from where I sit, Morty, that's the best deal on the table. I made a pretty big mess of things myself. Hoo-wee. Never got my job at the university back. Remember that? Rick made me do karate. Ever think about how horrified the people we love would be if they found out who we truly are? So we just dig ourselves deeper. Wish I was brave enough to love them back. I don't know. Maybe you should try it. We don't have as much time as we think. Hoo-wee. Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. Guys, that was our reaction to the finale, and here's our discussion. That was, uh, it was really good. Yeah, I, I've I'm really... glad they touched on the evil Morty. Me too. I'm really glad. They had, a, they had a finale that was like a really big picture thing. One thing you mentioned that you caught in the last episode, and I didn't because I just didn't remember it, was the Vampire Hunter D aspect of the last episode. The hand thing, but it's, I think it, no, it was on the side. It was his palm. Yeah, yeah I, it always disturbed me. So I'm glad you brought that up. But yeah. uh, Wubba Dubba Dub Dub! Yeah. We, we haven't heard that in forever. I know. It's been a while. Like two seasons at least. And he hasn't... Wubba Lubba Dub Dub. Sorry. And he's belched mid-conversation less than he normally has. But he, he did do it in this episode. Well, he also had uh, what, Stan Lee Rick. We had Stan Lee Rick saying to go back to season one, episode nine. Which that might, And honestly, that might have been when uh, Evil Morty was introduced. I can't remember. The animation quality in most of these finales has been very good. Yeah, because all and, the things on screen and stuff like yeah, that. Yeah, it was when they showed Evil Morty getting his little ship yeah. and launching out of there. It yeah. was fantastic yeah. compared to the rest of the season. Yeah, no, I agree. So, so just some ideas from sci-fi, like the the galactic hub is a 
actually a, a weapon. He started flooding in portal liquid, and he used he basically the uh, the citadel like tore a hole in that the, like in space, and he went through that to some other plane of space, and then he was able to use a gold portal, and and I don't think we've ever seen it before, and maybe we have not. He was only able to do it that plane of reality. Yeah, it's yeah he another was, plane of reality. I yeah. don't know what he's going for, but it's a reality where Mortys make the decisions. I'm sorry, but it's probably not a very good one. So, so no, yeah, Rick is not great by any means. He's very toxic, very poisonous. Yeah, to people around him, but he also realizes that mm-hmm. there's a reality to exist. Yeah, and Morty, even evil Morty. Yeah, I don't. I'm not confident that they would realize that. No, yeah. In spite of how they feel, there are things that have to happen. So, the stuff that we've seen before with Rick, I think this version of Rick, in his original reality, something killed. Oh, is it a, a Rick? that shithead Rick? The shithead. Oh, the Han Solo Rick. That motherfucker that just showed up. Yeah. When he talked to the bug in the end of the third season, I believe. Yeah. And he was telling him the story. Yeah. It might have been the beginning of the fourth season. Yeah. About, like, you know, they had their Shoney's trip. Yeah. And he told them about how what happened to his wife and daughter. Yeah. But the, the show alluded to the fact that he might have been thinking that reality up to... Well, he even said, like, well, I can just make whatever up. In yeah. mind and everything else. So, they made it seem like he, he outsmarted his captors. Yeah. But now it's making you think that, well, maybe he... There was some element of truth to his lies. Yeah. Which, actually, so, I think... It, I mean, I always thought Rick had a tragic story. I was hoping that's what was it, and I think, uh, and I think it's great that it that that was his backstory. I think it's really compelling. I mean, obviously, it made him like the pain that he felt led to all this. It did, and that's I always think those are some of the coolest stories when you have people where they have this terrible thing happen to them, and then they do something crazy like this, and it you know, it, and there has to be like a show kind of like this to show like the limits that someone will go when they're feeling that kind of pain. Like he went around, started killing, hunting down the version of himself, and he it created a a Rick Truce, and then a Rick Citadel, and well, then. How would you feel if a version of you showed up and killed your family? I'd want to. Yeah, I mean, I'd feel the same way. I mean, I don't know if I'd be as good as Rick, though. <laughs> you know what I mean? If, well, I I realize that. Yeah. But in yeah. terms of if you're going to assume the ability. Yeah, I, I want Old Testament justice. <laughs> you know. Why wouldn't you? Some asshole shows up that looks just like you, that is you, and just kills your whole, kills your family. So, do we know the motivation about that yet, or is it just a random thing, or has the show not revealed? Well, I, in the version that he was told in the beginning of the fourth season, it was kind of like, you're not going to be like us? Okay, well then, so, okay, it's, it's yeah. not like personal, but it is. Yeah, okay. You know what I mean? It's like, you're not going to be like us, you're not going to be the real Rick. Yeah, yes, and yeah, because they wanted to give him the technology. It's kind of like Rick wants to be, even though he's not, he wants to be omnipresent. It's, yeah. He, he wants to remain in the presence and influence his will over everything. Yeah. And there are versions of Rick that will enforce that. Yeah. But in his case, he's the version that, yeah. that he refuses to do it. Yeah, he, he it, wants to be left alone. Yeah, because initially he was going to give up that stuff and just be with his family. Yeah, but the other versions of Rick, like, no, we can be top dog. Yeah. We can be top dog and put our boot on the head of everyone else. Yeah. And that's kind of what you get from the other Ricks. But him, he's like, no, I want to be the Rickest Rick. Yeah. And we had that from the that, that Morty in this episode, the evil Morty. Yeah. He, he's the rickest Rick of them all. Just let him go. Yeah. He'll leave us alone. There were a lot of uh, interesting ways as people were dying. Sometimes I take it for granted, like, how many creative things that happened. The that, fucking sludge Rick. Yeah, that the, it takes hit. damage and it powers up or builds aggro yeah. with our armor or whatever. And it makes them powerful and it helps them sustain this. Damage? Terrible, shitty ass it's a... monster muck. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it was horrible. Yeah. It's weird. so many things happened. I forgot about that, but it was crazy. You know, it was interesting seeing twenty six year old Morty because he could have gone in a completely different direction instead yeah, of being tall middle. and a little bit of muscle on him. He could have been more like Jerry yeah, until he got when he's older. 
When he's older, he... He's a 40-year-old more. He look like shit. He look like shit. Had a shitty-ass tattoo. And yeah. Like, <laughs> <laughs> I think it's just so damn funny. Like, I was wondering if that happened. Like, is Morty manipulating him? But then I thought, honestly, it would be interesting if all that time went by. And, of course, they can just... Well, it's funny they went back and showed his family, like, you, you got to do something about this. Morty, like... Yeah. He took some pre-aging... Yeah. Fucking serum from somebody. Yeah. And became this 40-year-old Morty. Yeah. Just to get Rick back. Mr. Poopy Butthole. In the end? Okay. He's talking about like, the, the lies that make you who you are. To well, the I mean... you love. The people who write this show have a big heart, and they probably are deep thinkers, because I think that's something that a lot of people go through. It's a real thing that it's I think a, everyone goes through in their life. Big, it's a very big thing. Oh, yeah, definitely for sure. It's an important thing. It is, and Rick and Morty, they, they can take like these crazy deep themes and wrap it around their dark humor, and they do it in a way that's entertaining, and I think that's some of the best entertainment out there. I mean, I always like deep, like I'm a Star Wars guy and everything, but my favorite stuff has always been comedy, you know what I mean? Like, when I can just laugh and forget about shit, it's, it's amazing, but when, some, when I can laugh and then also think deeply about something, it's also amazing, you know? So, yeah, it resonated with me. It makes certain, a big difference. Yeah, certain periods of my life I've definitely felt that way. And I've wondered, am I doing that to people I love, you know? It, it's, not, oh, no, it's, not, I, it's not a good I, feeling. I get it perfectly, yeah. completely. And uh, it makes you think that you need to be separate from everything. Yeah, it makes you think, you know? And it makes you think. It makes you wonder. It makes you wonder like, what the point is. Like with Rick in the opening. Yeah. And him in the, like, the Odin Vampire Hunter D outfit. Yeah. That was great. The crows, yeah, it was really good. There's a lot to this episode. They packed there so was. much in. I completely forgot about it until you brought that up. Yeah. But well, him, the outfit is very Vampire Hunter D. No, it was a great finale. Uh, ultimately, this show, I think, is definitely... The, this show's amazing, and I think the season was a success. The premiere was amazing. The finale was amazing, and it had a few episodes that were some of the best episodes. It had some boring ones. I, I but, always loved this show. Yeah, even um, the bad ones are good. episodes that are not that great compared yeah. to the other. Because eventually, after... What? This is the fifth season? Yeah. After five seasons of something, those same characters, same episodes, etc. Yeah. You want to have only the best. Yeah. You do. Yeah. And you also want substance to the overarching plot, which they gave us here. I don't got anything else. I, I loved it. That was great. And uh, and honestly, they can start. I'm, I, I'm not saying I want the show to end soon. I'm saying like that we could be in the end game now with this big you know, more evil Morty thing. You know what I mean? We could have two or three seasons left, you know? Well, I'm glad that I get that it's an ultimate confrontation yeah. between Rick and Morty, which makes sense for the title of the show. Yeah. How can they make it stretch between two more seasons? They're confirmed for at least seven seasons, right? The only thing I'll say is when you watch Supernatural, like that definitely could have ended in season five, but it went on for 14 more or 15 more seasons and it had some of the best stuff after too. Well, it's a great show. Yeah. This season is not my favorite season, but it's definitely a good season. Yeah. So I'm not going to bash it. Yeah. But um, I'm glad they're continually making it. Yeah, I agree. So. Yeah, I, it, I agree. I think that's it. Thank you for tuning in. If you like what you see here, you can like and subscribe. You can find us on Instagram. You can find us on Twitter. If you're not going to find us there, you must not have find it. You must not have found us worth it. If you made it this long, you must have. So I don't know what the fuck's wrong with you. No, something's wrong uh, with you. you, you have, there has to be but something wrong with you. But thank you for being here. <laughs> thank you for being here, but I'm drunk.